hello guys welcome back to my channel yes a very quick one here mm. i don't really have much time i wanted to do this video for was it two days ago yeah two, two, two days ago yeah but i didn't have the time yesterday as well i tried but um i couldn't make it today i've tried since morning to pull this thing out but um still I do not have that time, but still, I feel like no, I just need to let people know. So, in case you are making plans, you maybe you must have booked your ticket, you must have gotten your Bahrain visa, and maybe you are still planning, thinking about you, trying to contemplate if you're gonna be or not. Maybe you wanna try Dubai or perhaps the Bahrain or whatsoever. So, I feel like, um, let me just you know put it out there, anyhow, anyhow, you know, um. On a very good day when I will have enough time, I'm gonna go into details. But today I'm just gonna touch, touch, touch the most important things. So now it's about the protocols. So this this protocol it's kind of um uh, the the requirement or perhaps what you should know, what you should have, what you should do, you know, or what you should plan, you know, the things to have, you know, the things to do, <laughs> to plan ahead of you traveling to Bahrain yes so a um, couple of days ago I told you guys about the incident happened to one of my uh, the person which I made visa for happens to be my brother yeah uh, he was so unfortunate that uh, uh, he boarded um, with Turkish Airlines getting to um, to Istanbul Turkey they delayed them from there they repatriated them back which is deported them back to Niger simply because of what nobody knows they keep on saying visa ticket they have issue with Bahrain do and that you know that kind of stuff and at the end they are home not there but the guy yeah so that's why I feel like I just wanted to you know highlight this so people will know so you not fall a victim number one do not book Turkish airline. I've said this before and I'm saying it again. Do not book Turkish airline. In case you must have booked with them already, uh, place for refund. Yeah, like one of the guys, which, you know, two of them, which I booked Turkish airline two weeks ago. Right now, I've uh, placed the refund and I also showed the guy that this is it. Uh, you guys are not going with Turkish airline. Better to get your money back than to get into Istanbul. They will repatriate you guys back. So, Place for refund to avoid you wasting your money for nothing. Do not go with Turkish Airlines to Bahrain if you're a Nigerian passport holder. Yeah. Second, go to, I mean, um, uh, you should have at least 1,500 US dollars. Yes, that is the requirement which they placed now on Nigerians. Uh, simply because they don't see, say, Niger people don't they flood in the country now, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Normally, imagine, we we'll be saying only 5, 10, highest 20, they enter your country per week. Now, you can't they be like saying uh, more than uh, two, 450 per day. I, on, a, on a good reason, I mean, now, you understand? So, you cannot blame them on that. You cannot blame them on that. So, they feel like uh, uh, we just need to put some, you know, certain um, rules and regulations so that those guys will not go in there and overstay their, their welcome. So, um, you understand that's why they place that uh, requirement which you need to have at least 1500 US dollars uh, it's called the BTA which is the money at hand but see uh, that uh, anyway it's fine I will come back to that I will come back to that BTA something so uh, what am I even saying I don't forget I really wanted to shed more light on this so uh, so that BTA something see this is how it goes guys I got talking for Niger the thing we say, most time they 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 not even they ask you whether you get that money or you know get up. I'm not joking. They they ask you, but now you go make them ask you. Number one, let me use myself. When I was coming to Dubai back in 2012, then uh, you know that was my first time going to the airport. Like going to the airport. I never been to airport before, which I won't go do for airports. So I put on tie with my long sleeve shirt, with my mouth, maybe say the thing done there, you know, because of cold. 
I was to Mutra Mohammed Airport, you know. I mean, airport, now they talk so. So I can't they shiver. I can't they look, you know. So they can't suspect. Imagine, I, I, could, I, could, I could even remember what happened that day. One of them in my, um, what does it call? Um, uh, what's, what's in the record themselves? She in immigration. What do they call them? Those guys, what they, what they check people for, for airport. So one of them called me, say, You look like person where they wear carry. You know, yeah, yeah you, you know, I stand. I said, no, 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 I didn't know. Uh, I don't even know what you are talk, talking about. Uh, but the appearance, the way I they look left and right, you understand? So your body language matters. The way you present yourself, the way you package. In Nigeria, we call it packaging. The way you package yourself matters a lot. Now, what is this packaging of a thing? You know, oftentimes we use that phrase package, but we don't really understand deep. What in that package really means? Packaging is not just uh, you know uh, you know like 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 the Lekki or the Lagosians where we say the reason they refer to you yeah they, they are packaging themselves in Lagos. No, you too need to package yourself. Package the way you talk. Package the way you walk. Package the way you know understand the way you know the way you carry your body. It matters a lot uh, while traveling. Now let me give you an example. This packaging of a team. Number one. You will stand in front of immigration now. They will ask you, "Well, um, uh, please, sir, uh, um, where are you heading to?" Here in uh, in Bahrain, for instance, you go look and say, hey, "Come, come again." I said, "Where are you going to? Which city are you going to?" The next thing you go start looking at your papers where your agent must have wrote the city. Ah, uh, I, I think it's it, it, madam. I think it's charger. You see, now they don't know say you they don't even know where you are heading to. That is number one. Number two, they might ask you very simple something. Um, okay, so um which hotel? What's the name of your hotel? Where you make your reservation. You 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 you, you, be, you be checking papers. Ah, come on. They go ask you the money now. Please can we see your BTA? Definitely, because they don't know say, you know, now they don't say ah this person be like say the person will go feed day overstay for our country. Maybe we'll come, you know, check whether whether he carry money to extend his visa in case visa will expire. You get the point now. That's all the thing just be. But if they ask you that kind of simple question, where are you heading to, or which city will you stay in this country? Very simple. I'm going to Dubai. I'm, I'm going to Abu Dhabi, or I'm going to Manama, which is the capital city of Bahrain, Manama. I'm going to Manama. Okay, which hotel do you reserve? Um, it's called the Sheraton. Or oh, which hotel do you? Ah, it's called Angote Hotels. Very simple, because you must have memorized those things. It's here. Even before they ask you as a sharp Niger guy, you go reply them. They're gonna say you're a businessman because you you don't you, don't, you, you know you, you carry yourself say you be businessman. Because they, they, they may, may, perhaps they might ask you. Yeah, I'm a trader by profession. I'm a businessman. So it be, it behave like one. You understand? Clamp those things. That is to prepare. Abroad is not just you don't get money to travel. I, I make visa for you. You book your ticket. And now it's time for you to go. No. No. You need to get some certain things in order. You need to learn. You need, you need to educate yourself. Yeah. So these are the things which you need to know. So you get the point. So package yourself. Package yourself. Now... Remember what I said before about the BTA up to one five. But if you have five hundred people, they pass with five hundred. It's no joke. People they pass with even see, they know even they ask you that money. Now the way you present yourself, they make them they suspect you say ah this person if you no get money or if you be this you understand. Now the way you package yourself. I remember when they were you know when Dubai have issue with Nigeria at that time twenty twenty. You get one lady where came. They, I think, I don't know, I, I, I forgot what, what they do that time. I don't know if that person, they passed airport. But that lady came in. The, as in the way she, she packaged, I said, one Yoruba leg like that. So, packaging is that key. You be Niger, why can't they do yourself? They ask you simple question. You go, they check paper. You go, they check paper. It does it really make sense to you? Eh? It doesn't make sense. Those guys sitting there, most of them are psychologists by profession. They are psychologists by birth. So once they look at you, they don't, they they know say you know they knew perfectly well what you are up to. What's your next move?
where you they go, what you are like, what, what you actually came there to do. So you need to learn those things. Put it in here. Learn those things ahead of time. Don't just say, I've gotten my visa, I've gotten my ticket. No, that is not the end of it. You need to educate yourself about it. Wait, you need, to, you need to go into details. You need to learn the history of even where you are heading to. It's very important to, to know at least one or two cities, two or three hotels. Yeah, you understand? To know, like, you need to know those things. My first time in Kenya, I've never been to Kenya before. That was 2020, uh, 2012. That was my first time in Kenya. I Google about Kenya, about the cities, about, you know, Umoja too, Dokhom, you know, those cities in, in Nairobi before I even got there. So I knew perfectly where well I was heading to. So you need to know those things. It's very, very important. So those are the things. So it's not much that they will ask you how much do you have. They begin there. They don't search you to know how much you have. It's you. Yeah. Present yourself well and they don't go even mention that BTA. It's not it, I'm telling you what I know. You get the point now. So that is it. Just carry that money if you have at least five hundred dollars up. If you have carrier in case, but package yourself. No base, no focus. You're this one uh, on on prayer. So because you know most Nigerians now, yeah, prayer is a key. Yeah, we know prayer is a key. But you too, you need to walk because prayers without work is dead. So you need to get some education. You need to get some couple of ideas of where you are heading to before the prayer go walk. Because make you not be like say, yeah, prayer go walk. Yeah, yeah, prayer. Yeah, yeah, Jesus will be uh, this one go go cover their eyes at the airport. You know they walk oh, for Ibo man uh, airport. When I find yeah, if you if you you do feel walk, but once you don't cross night, yeah, that you know go feel walk. Oh. So make you know those things. So, so that is that. I've got so much to talk about about the protocols, but um, I don't really have like like I've got so many things doing right now i was actually cleaning my house before i feel like let me not let me just put this thing here maybe someone might be in need of it because i've got like five people sending me messages since last night to talk about this so i think i will continue by tomorrow guys right now i need to go and uh, feed my girls and they need to sleep now it's almost 10 yeah so <laughs> tomorrow we're gonna talk guys yeah do have a lovely night bye bye